Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Just one month ago, ex-CS Henry Rotich was acquitted from the court as the allegations that were about the Aror and Kimwarer, the court cited saying that there was no enough evidence to charge Henry Rotich. Just after one month, William Ruto is appointing the former Treasury Cabinet Minister, Henry Rotich, as an advisor on economic matters. As Rutich was unceremoniously laid off as Treasury CS by former President Uhuru Megaya Kenyatta, will now serve as a senior advisor of fiscal affairs and budget policy at Ruto's office. When the court came declaring that Henry Rutich was innocent, in my mind, I knew that this was going to come. And court declared Henry Rutich innocent. We are hereby acquitted under Section 210 of the Criminal Procedure Court due to lack of evidence as a result of the reckless dereliction of duty by the prosecution. Of the court's decision. John, I believe my colleagues will be removing similar applications for your respect. Thank you. A body's statutory power to act, it could be implied that parliament at the start of this trial. The prosecution made an elaborate speech, opening speech, and highlighted how they would go about providing, proving their case. After declaring Henry Rutich innocent, I knew that all things about Henry Rutich, what William Ruto was now doing, Henry Rutich is going to be given a job. And the question is, as the court in a declare kwamba, akuna evidence ya kutosha, ya kuchaji our jamaa, at the same time, pesa ya uma ilikulo. The Aror and Kimware Dam money was eaten. Atujui nani alikula kwa sababu wakisema kwamba Henry Rutich is innocent. There is no enough evidence to accuse him. Then it means William Ruto is busy ensuring that his allies, when Yawalikwa may be mistreated according to his mind, Omekwa may suffice and they are having jobs in his government. Ladies and gentlemen, in this new role, Rutich will offer advice on the management of the economy and public finances. The position was previously held by the current central bank governor, Kamau Tuge. So Tuge had been appointed to the position by the former head of public service, Joseph Kinyo. So Henry Rotich is now going to be advisor on the management of the economy and public finances. Certain positions there are several positions yenye huwa anajiuliza maswali. William Ruto is having economic advisor. At the same time, there is advisor on the management of the economy and public finances. The big role that this man is going to play is that the same as the role that David Ndidi is playing. In mid-December last year, Last year, Rutich was acquitted in the 63 billion Aro and Kimwarer 
uh, dump scandal. And of course, the trial magistrate, Eunice Newton, concluded that the evidence provided was insufficient, promoting her to drop all charges. The question is, who squandered the public resources? Who squandered the public resources? That is the question. You can not tell us that no one squandered the public resources, but at the same time, the money was lost. So according to all the accused persons in this case, are hereby acquitted under section 210 due to lack of evidence as a result of reckless the election of duty by the prosecution. That is what you are told. Are we in a country that money will just be lost like that? No one will be arrested, charged, because the allegations are there is no enough evidence to charge these individuals, yes. But now, who squandered the public resources? Another thing, William Ruto is so busy ensuring that his close allies, when you look at the case, Kotini, were acquitted. Now, who acquitted the Kwamba and our pair room of rebranding them? And that is how William Ruto is doing it seriously to ensure that his close allies are going to be safe, clean, no one, his case will be in the courts. And the fight is to ensure that he's consolidating his base. And it, it will be so difficult for a country to fight corruption if some individuals will feel like they're being targeted. But the simple question is, as far as you are like being targeted, then, what about the money that has been lost under your direction, under your supervision, and under your management? So the problem is not about, yes, the case was acquitted, acquitted, but who is going to answer the money that was lost? The money that was lost. So in simple terms, we are already failing as the money yenye tulikuwa tunapewa inapotea a day hakuna mtu anaanza aroki morel dam imeenda hivyo nys scandal imeenda hivyo yeah. all these scandals now we are being told hakuna evidence ya kwa kisu watu who are these people to be accused then if it is not them that is the question. Who are these people to be accused? No wonder some individuals, some individuals, when you are a case, you may drop you. Now, William Ruto's intention is to ensure that his base is going to be strong. And these people will come out set praising it because of his effort towards cleaning them. Remember, William Ruto was also, was also his name was also tarnished when it comes to the Arol and Kimware Dam scandal. But because we are told that William Ruto is innocent, Rotich is innocent, and those all respondents were innocent. Then what I know is that this will continue. Wale ambao wako na makesi. Kotini, they want to support William Ruto. Then their cases will be withdrawn. They will be, they will be acquitted of all their cases. So in such kind of in such kind of absorbing these people in his government, you're showing kind of impunity. You cannot tell us you're busy fighting for corrupt leaders. That those who are corrupt Head cases in court, they are being proved innocent, then you are absorbing, absorbing them in your government. It should not be allegations 
but it should be a charge. If someone has been found guilty, let him be charged. Let not anyone come out and interfere with the case. But in our country, anyone will come out and interfere with the case. And the accused will be clean. No one will come out to accuse them. Then after that, Kesho Mutaskia wana vai for incident. No one will come out to accuse them. So the public offices that you are trusting them all, you are trusting uh, the public offices that you are trusting them with will not as far as your expectations are. They will, do, they will just do it because you know, ah, Raila ki, ah, kisumama akishinda president and atanifutia ikesi. Uruta kisumama president ashinda atanifutia ikesi. And, uh, ikesi. and that is what is happening in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.